Morning. Morning. <laughs> so I'm off to have my health check done this morning and then we're going to collect Herman the German from the dealers. So um, we'll let you know how that goes and we're checking me soon. Bye. So I'm at the health center. I'm the only one here at the moment. <laughs> so it's absolutely pelting down. Predicted thunderstorms today as well. I don't think my pergola, pergola is going to get built today. You never know. So you got out of that one, didn't you? But we are going up to the dealers after we've been here to pick Herman up. Just had his control panel done on the bed and a few other little bits and pieces done. So you never know. They might have got a couple of new vans in since last week. So I doubt it, but you never know. You've got, you know, you've got to be hopeful. So um, we may have a look at them if they have. If they haven't got anything in, then we won't bother because we went through them all last week. Nothing that we really liked. Well, they better be good because I'm not getting wet for nobody. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless it's... Um, we'll, we'll instantly know if they've got our layout there or not, just by the make and the model number. So, yeah, if that is the case, they've got a couple in, we'll have a look. Oh, I'm fed up with this weather. Who'd have thought it was July? It's absolutely pouring down. Look. Mm. But in an hour's time, it might be all dried up and some may be out. Mm. That's the way it rolls this time of year. Fed up. Mm. Well, unfortunately, that is the English weather. This is why people head abroad, I'm afraid. Um, if it's on an aeroplane, if it's in their motor home, on a boat, whatever. This is why they go abroad, because they can more or less guarantee they're going to get good weather for the week, two weeks they're away. I was, I was really hoping that somebody would be at this health centre because I'm supposed to be getting my um, blood pressure and uh, cholesterol checked finally. I haven't been to the doctors luckily since before Covid, so this would have been the first time. Well, that's probably because you can never get an appointment. Well, yeah. <laughs> and now, so far, they haven't shown up. So, might have to be, be booking that one. Well, we see. It's not quite half past nine yet, so give it 25 to 10. And hit the door. If there's no one there, it's obviously not opening today. So, mm. we'll have to rebook it. Mmm. So, um, yeah. Right. <laughs> Well, we'll hang on a bit longer then. Yeah, we'll catch up with you when we get to the dealers and give you the latest on um, how Herman the German is. Um, not expecting any issues. I mean, it's had a new control panel fitted because that failed. That's taken a long time. I mean, this was back in February. Um, the bed went wrong. Um, took it in for service the very next week. Habitational service, its first one. Obviously reported the problem to them. Um, and it's taken this long to get the claim, the warranty claim approved. I just hope they fixed it get properly. Get the bit in. Um, no, now luck, like, we'll get it back and then it'll go again. Well, we're gonna, <laughs> obviously gonna try it out while we're there before we bring it away. To one, make sure it's going through its, um, its sort of lowering process correctly. <laughs> At it's least it might process go. process correctly and it goes up straight. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> It might go up straight yeah, this time. We had a noisy um, fresh water uh, submersible pump in the onboard tank. Um, suddenly just went noisy. A lot, lot noisier than it was. So um, we've actually changed that, put a new one on. So obviously, hopefully that solved that little issue with too much noise on the water pump. So um, that was done on warranty as well. So. That's, that's good we didn't have to wait for that as well because I was a little bit dubious as to if that was going to let us down or not. I mean, it did uh, the other week. We'd used it all weekend at a meet and then we'd, um, we got home and uh, the, the pump stopped working. So, obviously mm. checked out the pump inside the tank, but, you know, seemed all right. 
but it turned out it was a fuse gone. So I changed the fuse and it started working again, but it was very noisy. So um, yeah. that's all now been sorted. So hopefully that's, that's out of the way. Well, every time you turn the tap on, it sounded like a jumbo jet was arriving. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so mm. hopefully that will be nice and quiet. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Yeah, catch up with you later. Bye bye. dealers watch what you're doing nothing new then I'm looking it's a personal <gasps> it's a little personal 65 plate oh I've got to have a look at that Bavaria oh. that's a new one that's a new in oh Got, but we've got new motorhomes to look at. Happy days, happy days. <laughs> <coughs> I reckon it's a French pen layout by the looks of the outside. No, it's a side transfer double. Yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's unusual. Different. Quite nice. It's quite nice, this one. How long is this fan? How long? Yeah. I don't know. It's a, it's a wet room, but it's a big wet room. Is it's it? got all, all the central heating. Oh, look at the wardrobe. It just seems a bit wider. I can open it. Which way, Reg? That is. Um, a large wardrobe. Have you seen the wardrobe? Ooh, yeah, it does. I don't know why. Yeah. Got storage at the end of the bed. Yeah. Both ends. Yeah. Proper cooker. Full cooker. Lovely bit of worktop space. Stink there. Small, Small in the fridge. fridge. Yeah. But Got the electric. Still, that's still pretty ample for the menu, I think, that fridge. Ah, got my fingernails stuck. <laughs> Does it open? <laughs> oh, wow. I've got my fingernails um, Show you. Oh, it's a wet room, huge. but it, but it's a big wet room. You'd have a shower in there, absolutely no trouble. Oh my god, Tough that bugs. is that has got to be the biggest shower room I've seen. Mm. Big wet room. Has it got all the? It has, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got all the wet room for you. Got two little add-on tables here. Look, looks like someone's added these. These little tables, look. These little coffee tables. Oh, yeah. They're cute. Peugeot. Yeah. Peugeot cab. Nice little lights there. That's, uh, plenty of storage. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. But there's a bailey in it for a pair of. I'm a caravan maker. He's making himself at home. That's the bit, I mean, nice and wide. Well, that's the part I can't get over a voltage. It just feels wider than our one. 
Yeah. I suppose it is. It's, it's this here, isn't it? Obviously the furnishings look a bit dated now, but but the actual layout is really good. It's got plenty of light. Skylights. One, two, three, four. Not a caravan on wheels, really, because you've got the side big rear side transverse bed. Yeah. Which keeps it very open and airy. It really does. Obviously you've already got central heat and you balance out really nice on this layer. I just can't get over the space in there. It's got no bulk yeah, it's, that's that's probably what it is as well. It's nice and open. I've got a couple of step options but and what what width it actually is then mm. or, or length. This is this is Bailey's top spec car uh, motor home with the Audi. Yeah. Hmm. 45 grand? No, right, it's a 15 phone. Is it? It's a 15 phone. Yeah. Hmm. So we like the layout, but we wouldn't buy this particular van, would we? Got the light grey. Well, thing is, it's, well, it's, it's a, it's I say we like the, the layout. It's we like the German bed layout. Charms. We're ready to move day, isn't it? But you get you get a proper full cook oven here. Mm. Where you've got the smaller fridge. I don't like this step. Step back up. German bed layout. I think then. it's a bit of a trip hazard. And you've got two parallel settees. Oh. Hmm. I like. I prefer. Um, I think I prefer the ones we've looked at with the split bathroom. Yeah. Rather than this. So. Yeah. But I don't like, I definitely don't like this step there. No. So. And to be fair, you do get a nice bit of storage under these settees. Mm. Although there's, there's, there's folding travel seats on there, but... And the other side, aren't they? You know what? <sighs> yeah, but I, I would personally unbolt them and take them out. Mm. And just have the two as storage, because you've got good storage. A bit like... A bit like in the Madge, wasn't it? Yeah. They were. They had folding seats, although we never had them. They never come with it. But it's um, nice and light in you here. Just unbolt them and take them out. Yeah, I prefer the lighter wood. No. I think. But yeah, still looking for my dream van. But it's an Aldis, and I'm not. No, we don't right. like Aldis, do we? Yeah. For personal reasons. But we've had a couple of bad experiences. Yeah. But not to say they're all like that. Some people get on the right with them. Yeah, I've shown them. The it's bathroom. a wet room, but it's quite a large wet room, isn't it? I think yeah. you could have a shower in there quite easily. You've got the wheel yeah. protruding, though. Yeah. So, yeah, this is definitely not for me.
welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd quickly update you. Now we've got uh, Herman the German back on the drive. Um, we had the water pump changed. Uh, you see here. Certainly not as loud as it was before. So well pleased with that. Well pleased that they've changed that. And they've even left the old pump in the van just to prove that they've changed it, which I know a lot of dealers do do that, but I was quite pleased to see that, I must say. Um, also, the old control panel from one of them ones, they left that out as well, just to prove that that had been changed. Uh, but obviously I can see from the display there, that it's a, a slightly different display than what was in there. So. Um, yeah, I mean that that pretty much proves it. So, so it was that. It was the, you know, the bed seems to have gone up pretty level. Um, if I was being really pedantic, I'd say it's slightly, just not quite level, but it's a lot better than it was. So, I'm just gonna test the bed out to make sure that it all comes down with no problem. Um, with this particular control panel, what it should do is stop halfway at the right height where you put the ladder on. So if, if all's working good, that should stop. Which it does. So that stops there at that halfway point where you can put the ladder on there and then get on and then you've still got somewhere to sit in the morning if you like, but we don't use it like that. We use it all the way down. We take we take the back cushions off for both parallel settees. We drop the table down to that cushion height and we'll bring that down to the cushion height and then it's it's really <coughs> nice and easy to, to get in the bed and, and to get out again. So just gonna make sure that it, it, it does come down further. Which it does. So I'll stop it just as it gets to the top of the back cushions, but that would come all the way this would come down to about there. So it's a nice level, you know, to get in and out the bed if you have to get up in the middle of the night. That's pretty good. So I'm just gonna lift that back up again. Stop halfway again, yeah. Push, the, push that in for travelling and then then that's it you know we're, we're left with a nice big lounge which we like so um, yeah um, we'll catch up with you guys on the next video and hope you've enjoyed this one um, if you like the video uh, give us a like and if you want to subscribe subscribe that'd be great fantastic um, and we'll catch up with you soon bye for now